an unexplained suicide, and a stock market scandal. From the author of Presumed Innocent. What happens if I refuse to cooperate? You go to jail for the debt. I find you very attractive. It's a story of passion and betrayal. Victoria Principal and Stephanie Powers. The Burden of Proof. Tomorrow at 9.30 on BBC One. The Queen's Silver Jubilee provides the background for the Wednesday play on BBC Two in a moment about a single parent family relying on the state for its survival. Secretly, Diana has the hots for me. Basil's keen. You'd be my love slave. Tom's very keen, but at Bayview, mixed apartments are in very short supply. The Baileys! That's vacant since they uh, got divorced. Divorced? Their age? They wanted to wait until the children were dead. Still waiting. Tom and Diana back from Thursday the 9th of September on BBC One. Stephanie Cole takes a break from playing the fearsome Diana to star in one of Alan Bennett's celebrated Talking Heads monologues in half an hour. And that's here on BBC One after the 9 o'clock news with Michael Burke. The UN emergency aid convoy got through tonight to the starving Bosnian town of Mostar. It was carrying 250 tonnes of food, the first into the town for two months. Seven Surrey children have been taken into care in another Home Alone case. And the universities say more than half the applicants for arts courses won't get a place unless they change to science. Good evening. The UN said tonight that its convoy of emergency food aid had at last got through to the embattled Bosnian town of Mostar, where 55,000 Muslims are on the verge of starvation. For much of the day it had been delayed, first by Croat forces at Mechagurje, and then by Croat women and children at Chitluk, who said the aid should all go to their people. Tonight it finally reached Mostar. Food for the Croat part of the town has been unloaded. It's not yet clear whether that meant for the Muslims' quarter has reached them.